I finally tried out a quick weave. I was very doubtful at first. Also on top of that, I was a bit scared of the bonding glue, but the results turned out beautiful. Really natural and looks absolutely gorgeous. This quick weave could be worn up or down because it is so versatile. So if you'd like to know the experience on my first time doing a quick weave, just stay tuned. The hair that I'm using in this video is by Elfin Hair. I have three bundles all together. I have two bundles in the color 1B. One length is in 24 and one is in 22. And I also have one bundle of 613 in 22 inches. I don't usually wear my hair this long. I just wanted to try something new, especially with the 613 hair. I decided to dye it. I am horrendous at bleaching hair. So I tried to do it the opposite way around, which is dyeing it. With these bundles, I got a really cute pouch. It says elfin hair on there. I got a leaflet with, with all the hair textures that they carry. I also got an instruction manual on how to care for their hair, a pair of eyelashes, which is so cute. I also got a stocking cap, a rat tail comb, which we are definitely going to need in this video, an edges comb, and a customized clip, which says Elfin. Oh my gosh, look at that, it's so cute. This is the braiding pattern that I decided to go for. All the hair that's came rode back is going to be underneath the cap. And of course we've got the leave out at the front and in the side. To protect my hair, I'm going to be using Weave Wonder Wrap. This stuff was so hard to find in the UK. I went to so many hair shops, they didn't carry it anymore. So I just ended up buying it from eBay. If you're watching this from the UK, please hit me up and tell me where I can get it for cheap. I was expecting this stuff to smell really strong because it does protect your hair from the hair glue, which is what we're gonna use to adhere the tracks to our cap but it literally smelt like nothing. It was a little bit sticky, but when it dries, it is no longer that way. I'm putting this wonder wrap all over the hair that's going to be underneath the cap, but I am making sure to not put any of it on my leave out. Also, you wanna make sure that you're wearing clothes that you don't mind messing up. I personally haven't got it on my clothes before to see how it would react, but I wanted to be extra careful. Once I applied a generous amount to my hair, I then go ahead with the blow dryer and make sure it's completely dry before we move on to the next step, which is applying the wig cap for extra protection. When I applied the wig cap, I pulled it taut so that I could see through it and then used a white liner to mark where I wanted my leave out to be. This wig cap serves as extra protection and plus I really wanted to make sure that I didn't get any bonding glue or any of the weave wonder wrap on my leave out. And just like I did for my cane rose, I applied a generous amount within the guidelines that I drew. And I don't know why, but I thought the wonder wrap was gonna take so long to dry. It doesn't. It takes about 10 minutes under the hairdryer. And I was quite shocked by that. I was expecting to be there for like a good half an hour to an hour trying to dry this thing. Once it's dry, this is what it looked like. I just used a normal hair dryer for about 10 minutes. Now let's get into the hair. I decided to dye it and it turned out a complete success. I did black roots and then I put brown dye at the ends. The dye that I use is by Garnier Nutrice 0.15 and it's called Iced Coffee. And I use the same brand in black for the roots. Next, I went in with a bonding glue and I applied a little amount to the track. I remember when I used to use this stuff back in the day on my raw hair, like just sticking tracks in. I can't believe how far we've come in the world of extensions and wigs and weaves. This bonding glue brings me back so many memories of when I was in high school. So each track that I'm sticking down, I have got glue on it. Then when I have the track where I want it to be placed, I blow dry it for about a minute or so to make sure it stays in place. For this particular hairstyle, I wanted to have the brown sort of frame in my face and I also wanted to have the underneath with the brown as well. So I went one brown track, one black, one brown, one black until it was finished. And then with the rest of the hair, I went in with the 1B tracks to complete my hair. It was a little bit tricky at first, especially around the back of your head. But I found that if you put the glue down first, sometimes that can help. And then put the track on and then apply the hairdryer to make sure the track is in place. 
but overall it was quite a cool process it only took me about i'll say half an hour so this really is a quick weave Once I finished my entire head, I just took some scissors and cut the part where my leave out was going to be. I made sure I was extra careful to make sure that I didn't cut my hair. I also forget to mention that I do have leave out at the back as well, so that I could wear this hair in a high ponytail. My own hair is relaxed, so it was quite easy to flat iron to blend it to this hair. I only did one pass on each section, on the deep side part, the back and the sides. Then I went in with my hair scissors to help give the hair a little bit of shape. I started doing layers from my chin and then below because I wanted when the wind to blow for you to be able to see the brown underneath and at the front and I think I did really really well. Here is the finished look after I finished curling it. Oh my gosh it looks so gorgeous. I don't know why I haven't been doing quick weaves now that i've tried it and it's so easy i'm definitely going to continue doing it this hair is absolutely gorgeous too and i am 100 percent going to be buying 613 bundles again to dye it brown or dye it whatever color i want because getting lighter colored hair and then dyeing it darker is so much easier than bleaching it i find that every time i bleach the hair i get the wrong color so i'm definitely going to be trying this out again with 613 hair also all the information on these bundles will be down below comment if you have tried a quick weave before and also if you have any tips for me and i will see you in the next video bye